Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Teach high school wood shop. Do tree work on the weekends. A student of mine graduated quite a few years ago. Just brought in a load of cedar logs. And today I'm going to just try and figure out how to stack them here. Sunday afternoon. I'm going to use the Vermeer mini skid steer and kind of move these things around. Um, see where we end up. So Tree safe. Nice felon cut right here. It's a pretty big hinge. Little punky right there. Beautiful logs. Tell me about these logs. Yeah, so um, we're doing a fuel reduction project up Highway 20, um, reducing some of the ladder fire fuels and also removing some of the larger trees that might have defects or dead ones as well so um, yeah dropping these off at the high school how long have you been doing tree work i started tree work when i was 21 so just over 10 years and um yeah it's been it's been a good experience a lot of fun and uh, it's definitely uh, something that you have to love if, if you're really going to do it so nice where'd you go to high school went to colfax high school graduated in 2003 that was a while ago. That was a while ago, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Beautiful. So the logs. Bringing the logs back home. So we're going to use this fuel reduction waste. These are some nice long logs. Going to use this to make wood projects here at the high school and sell them on our web store, treetransformation.com. All fuel reduction waste brought to us by TreeSafe, Colfax High Grad. Beautiful. So Colfax High Grad, Brian came back to school to drop off a load of logs. Uh, he started doing tree work with me, so it's great to see him with this fantastic tree company working in the area doing really well he, he has some great videos on youtube called uh, his channel is tree safe uh, it used to be mr bixler i'll try and put a link in here to his channel or to some of his videos and then we're just trying to really figure out where to put these logs and how the mini skid steer works getting a feel for the mini skid steer um, the grapple is super cool how it rotates 90 but it's a little bit of a pain how you have to stop get off and pivot it and rotate at 90 but um, it works well right here I'm thinking how oh, I could just stack all the logs right here parallel to the parking lot and then uh, I soon realize that it's not going to work so here, pulling the logs apart. Now the grapple is 90 degrees the opposite way. So this way, it's hard to pick them up, but it's really nice for pulling them. Just kind of tearing up the logs and getting gravel in there. I have to pressure wash them all um, to keep our bandsaw blades on our wood miser clean or not dulled. Okay, so kind of at this point, <laughs> I realize I'm not going to stack them all there. So I start tearing the whole pile apart. And then that's my parking spot right there. I figure I'll just stack them all now perpendicular um, to the parking lot and just stack them all in my parking spot. You know, my truck's probably 20 long, 20 feet long or so. And I think these logs are 16, so they'll be tucked in pretty tight there. Uh, you can tell I really have no idea what I'm doing. Um, trying to think it out. You'd think with a 
Wichita teacher, I'd grab a tape and measure it and figure it out, but no, I think I'm just going to play until I'm done playing pixie stick here, figuring this out. Here are the grapples parallel to the tracks on the mini skid steer. So I could grab the center of the log, and here I'm just trying to bump it forward with the mini skid steer, trying to roll troll, roll the logs forward. Actually, that, that idea of pushing it with the mini skid steer really works well. Um, I come around the end of it, and I'm pushing them up towards the building now so they don't stick out. I don't want somebody coming in, especially some kid flying in and catching a wheel on there and just making a mess of everything. Um, so that's how that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to restack them. It is it is kind of a fun pixie stick game for me because I don't have that much time on the mini skid steer. So I'm getting a feel for it. I, I do like the grapple parallel to the tracks. Um, I'm trying to find the middle point of the log and lifting it up. Here I'm perpendicular to the tracks and I'm just kind of pulling and pushing the logs all over the place. So here I'll probably just release it there, get the grapple out of the way, hopefully not destroy everything first. You can tell how jumpy I am on that grapple. That's a lot, a lot touchier than all the other hydraulics. And then I'll go around the side of it and push it push it in. Oh, there's me thinking. That's the problem right there. Okay, here I am. Again, the grapple's parallel to the tracks. So I'm picking up this log. This is about the biggest log you could pick up. Um, it's, it's surprisingly hard to find the midpoint of it, you know? All those years of roping trees down and rigging. I thought I had a pretty pretty good sense of where the middle of mass is, but um, I miss it a lot here. I think that log's probably, I don't know, maybe a thousand pounds. It's able to pick it up. I got the full tilt right into the machine. Oh, and you can see that the other end is dragging there, dragging the bark around. Um, but it's moving it. You know, I can't quite maneuver it in there. It's so tight. So I'm just going to drop it down there and then um, come around the end of it and push it in with the front of the mini. So that's what I'm doing here coming out and then using the front of the mini. I, I know, you know that grapple is not designed for pushing and pulling and probably tweak that thing pretty easily. So I use the front of the mini to push and it works well because it's so low down. Um, I'm trying to get it right up a few inches off of that wall there. And then here I am grabbing that last log uh, this, one's, this one's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. I'm just kind of pulling it. I just have it by the end, and I'm just pulling it out there until I can get a better hold of it. All right, well, just figured out that I'm not gonna be able to get the mini skid steer in there because that other log, so I'm gonna pull out other log out of the way, one step forward, two steps back. Once I got that log out of the way enough, I'm gonna go back and grab that shorter one. There are those concrete things at the front of the parking spots, and that's why I want the shorter ones going up to those concrete stoppers and then the longer ones on either side of them. And then I want the lightest ones on top is kind of my, my plan. Um, but I'm just boxing myself in a corner after corner here. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good for a teacher to do this. Makes them realize how slow everybody is the first time they do anything. There we go, just beat that log and machine to death. Um, 
it just takes hours at the wheel, you know, I guess to learn anything it just takes a lot of practice. You could understand it, but it's practice that makes you smooth on it. So I got that longer log out of the way, finally got a hold of this log. I still don't have the middle of it there. I guess now I finally do have the middle of it. I could get it in that pile. Going at a snail's pace here. And then I get that shorter one in there and then I could go back and get that longer one right here on the outside of that concrete stop block for the tire so they'll all be even on the parking lot side. You can tell that thing's heavy. You can kind of see me bouncing up and down there. Um, trying to bring that thing down low so I don't go flying. It is cool. I mean, it's it's. I, I love the interaction between man and machine. It's kind of, you know, developing that skill set till it just becomes intuitive and you're able to use that machine. It just takes a lot of hours. Um, but it's cool how just a little hydraulic pump could have all that power and move those logs around. So you can tell I tore that log up so far. I barely any bark left on it. Um, nice and light though, so that's able to go right on top of the pile right there. Last thing I want to do is drop one and have it roll into my HVAC system. I break that HVAC system. Uh, the maintenance guys would be pissed. They probably would never fix it. Um, fair enough. I mean, it's a wood shop and kind of turning this place into a lumber mill. It's cool. I mean, I love it. And nothing I love more than cutting wood and making stuff out of it and sharing that with the kids. Um, I feel awfully lucky to be able to do that. Awfully fortunate share my passion with students. So here's another pretty lightweight one that I'll be able to lift up high and put on top. I think, you know, when the kids come back and we're able to load the mill, it'll be easy to get in here, pull these logs apart, and load them on the mill pretty quickly. Um, and then there's that last short little one. It is Sunday afternoon, which is good because I made a mess of this parking lot. Um, I'm gonna have to go and clean this thing up. And there's that last little one right on top. Really conscientious that this is a nice, tight stack roll so it won't come undone. I don't want anybody to bump it or kids to play on it and have it come undone. Um, I checked it quite a few times and it seems pretty solid. Those logs aren't gonna roll anywhere. So that's Pretty happy with this pile. I think it's out of the way enough and it should work. It took me long enough to figure that out, but I guess it's a nice tight package there. I kind of like it. Hopefully nobody will complain. I did give away my parking spot. Uh, I'm getting that thing figured out. I know one thing. I sure love my job. I love my shop. I love my school. It's a great place to be. Okay, let me wrap this up by telling you what we do here. Uh, it's Colfax High Mill and Wood Shop. So there are logs donated by a student of ours. And then we have our Woodmiser LT Mill here. Go in here. Where's our mill? So after we mill it, we sticker it and dry it. Just uh, air dry it. Then here's the shop. Rode my bike today. I have a 4x8 CNC router. That thing's cool because you could just take a slab that's really wide and put it on there and use a surfacing bit to get it smooth. Uh, we do have a 25 inch planer. But anything over 25, you use the CNC table saw. There's some planed out boards. That's an oak slab. Cedar behind it. It's pretty wide. Festool cutting table where we cross cut these boards. You just use a track saw. Some other student benches. Some cool river maps we make out of 
wood. Those are pretty. So that's it. This is Top Sauce signing off from the Colfax High Mill and Wood Shop. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you want to buy any of our wood products from Reclaim Lumber We Milled, you can get them at treetransformation.com. And thanks. Thanks for watching.